Hello, Gemini. It looks like you're at that point in life where it's time to clean house when it comes to people. And upon doing this, you now see a lost empress clearly. Let's dig in to see where this goes. <music> Hello everyone, welcome in. This is a Gemini Tarot reading. It is a general reading, usually between two energies. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. For this you were born. Number 22, reduced to a four, foster intention of incarnating in this dimension. Never a crowd on the leading edge. Number 29, reduced to an 11. Number of mastery. Honor those who honor you. It's a significant cycle. 4 to an 11. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is someone who is discovering that when it comes to their purpose in life, there are certain people that cannot go with them on this path. And it's not that... You just can't take everyone with you. They're not going to vibrate. When you choose to step into high vibration, okay, um, everyone that is in your sphere that is in lower vibration, they, 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 they cannot go with you. Everyone that, how, how is it that Steve Harvey said it? Everyone that came with you can't go with you. Okay. This feels like someone who's realized their path. And it's not just a path. It's a path to greatness. And not everyone can go. It feels like also someone's understanding of who in their circle is actually in their corner. And getting rid of those who are just taking up space. Show me what's going on with Gemini, please. Show me what's going on with Gemini. Show me what's going on with Gemini, please. Okay. King of Wands, active energy, Leo energy underneath. Good. Eight of Coins, I understand. Judgment, Eight of Swords, Knight of Cups, Chariot card of Cancer, Five of Cups, Star card of Aquarius. Whoop. Yeah, it doesn't feel like a win, but it is a win for you. Okay. I'm going to read this. That is you. This is them. This is the situation. Okay. This is a connection that is judgments being called. You see judgments called on the on this connection. You see it. They don't. They don't. Which is why it's kind of I can't believe you're breaking up with me kind of thing. They don't understand that it's over and gone. Especially if you have an upcoming trip this summer together that they've really been hoping to go on. Okay. Um, you know that your love isn't there. Yes, it makes you sad, but you also heed the call from the universe. You know that this is to go no further. There is the desire to cling to it, especially on this end. Um because of the fruits it's produced remember the seeds and the fruits the seeds we plant together and the fruit something produces um this has been something this is something that not so much you but that they are very attached to you are supposed to be single there's something you're supposed to heal that has taken a lot of courage to even acknowledge that the kickoff is understanding that your heart isn't here, as sad as that makes you. Okay. Um, and this is this is this is supposed to be disconnected. Okay. There's something, there's a bigger lesson to learn here that's going to put you on a different path that's completely different from this person. Show me the eight of coins, please. I know that sounds heartless and stuff, but I'm I'm just trying to call it like it is. Show me the eight of coins in this situation. Eight of coins. 
Nine of Swords, Six of Coins, Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Cups, Queen of Swords. Mm, okay, this person might try to say mean and hurtful things now that you're now that you're taking away resources. Right, that now that you're taking away resources. Um, you're seeing that this is something that giving to has not your giving to this connection has done nothing but cause stress for you. The reason why is going to be different for all of you. Okay. And now that you aren't being generous to this person anymore, they're going to get kind of sharp with you. They want to know where your heart is going. Like if the, it's that, is there someone else? And it doesn't really look that way. It doesn't really look that way. This this connection has caused you some stress. Big time. Big time. Some some you won't even talk about. Show me judgment for Gemini, please. Show me judgment. Mm-hmm. Mm mm-hmm. There's something telling you in this judgment call that you should be alone for a little while. That there's something that you're searching for. It could be someone. Hermit card of Virgo. Um, it could be someone. Poor Scorpio, Sag, Leo, Scorpio again. That's a lot of big energy on the bottom. Your happiness lies in a peaceful connection that is elsewhere. Your happiness with another person. Show me the Knight of Cups for Gemini. Show me. Oh, okay. Flipped over. Page of Wands. Okay, you're not showing it, but you're actually, as much as this hurts you to hurt someone else to break up, it's you're actually excited to leave. You're excited to leave. There, There is something that you are wanting to plant seeds. This is what you want to plant seeds for. Emperor, Empress, Four of Wands. This is what you want. Aries, Taurus, and Libra. For those keeping track. These these are the seeds that you want to plant with someone. Do you know who this is? Yes, you do. High Priest, you know who this is. Someone you closed a cycle with before. There's the world right behind the... Right behind the High Priestess. You know who this is. You know who you want balanced, loving connection with. Show me the Five of Cups, please. The Lost Empress that you close out with. Yep. You want connection and commitment there. Two of Cups underneath Soul Bond. You want connection there. We have Double Taurus, Libra, and then Fixed Energy, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius with the world. You're wanting the, this Lost Empress. You know exactly where your heart wants to go. Which is great. That means there's no confusion. That means there's no confusion. <laughs> Let's see what's going on in this side. <laughs> this person knows they cause you stress. And they're using it as a tactic to keep you. Just throwing that out there. Show me the Eight of Swords. Yeah, they're ha they're happy with how things have been going, and they're gonna hold on to it through their cold dead fingers. Seven of Wands, Ten of Cups, Four of Coins. They don't want anything to change. Absolutely nothing to change. They don't want to have to move. They don't want you to be in love with someone else. Do they know about this Empress that you lost? They know something. They know something. Ooh, okay. Show me the chariot, please. Ooh. Okay. All right. It's falling all over the place. They are headed in the direction. It has fated them for them to be single. They are meant to learn to provide for themselves instead of you doing all of the providing. Double Aquarius energy. Show me the star at the bottom.
They will be fine. They'll keep an eye on you, though. They'll make it look like they're not. Justice card of Libra. So what is it that this feminine knows about the lost empress, please? Six of Wands, Temperance, Card of Sag, King of Swords, Card of Aquarius, Devil, Card of Capra. They had a hand in getting rid of her. Four of Wands. They knew what it was. They knew he had a soul bond with someone else. Two of Cups. They knew it. They knew it. They knew it. They helped get rid of this person. Whether planting ideas in you or in speaking to them or the both of you. I'm getting heavy on the influence part. The influence. I'm getting on the influence. How did how did they influence Gemini? Okay, so this is back when this person had more leverage. Um, there's the judgment call. Um, they could have tried to ultimatum you. They um, turn around and say, well, things, everything between us is over if you choose xyz other person after all the time that we've been together blah 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 okay but something about them because this has come up more than once that's the thing this has come up more than once there she is there she is mm-hmm So you have to tell her it's over, da, da 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 But what you didn't realize that you were doing is you were shutting out a real Empress Ace of Cups. Where the fruits were good. That really hurt her. It did. It really hurt her. Mm-hmm. Mm. So there's a will break up if so you better get tell them to be gone. But you drag that out a bit. You drag that out. Show me what the judgment call is the result of dragging that out. Ten of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Nine of Swords. Hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Three of swords, ace of swords, queen of coins, eight of swords. That sucks. So that that empress understood this this empress wasn't going to fight for a connection that wasn't being agreed to. Right? Um there's her hands were tied. There's nothing she could do. That bothered her? Yes. That hurt her? Yes. Was she sad? Yes. All all of those things. But she really could do nothing. She can't make you want to choose her. You either choose or you don't. And that's it. Okay. Now, as a result, you are weeding people out of your life, Gemini. And this, your current partner, is one of those people. And you want to move toward this lost empress. Okay. Then I'm going to head over to the extended and I'm going to go into the empress. I'm going to see what's going on with her in her current energy, her near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you are interested in any of that information, along with messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below, and I'll see you guys over there. Bye. Ooh.